in this morning's Health Watch, some surprising headache triggers. Doctors say that you can reduce painful headaches and crippling migraines by avoiding certain foods and activities. Early show contributor Dr. Holly Phillips of WCBS-TV is here to explain. Good morning. Good morning, Debbie. All right, we want to start off with the first one, which I'm a little surprised by because I always thought it was barometric pressure that affected headaches, but you say exactly. temperature. It's, it's really warm weather. Winter's a great time for headache sufferers. Actually, a recent study showed for every nine degree increase in temperature, the risk of getting a headache it goes up even more than 7%. So really warm weather is a trigger for many people. And you're right, low barometric pressure, which is what happens before rain, is also a trigger. Okay, so let's move on then to food. Sure. There are a couple of foods you want to talk about. Well, aged cheeses is probably the most common trigger. It can, aged cheese contains a, a substance called tyramine, which happens from the breakdown of amino acids mm -hmm. as food ages. So the more aged the food, the more tyramine mm -hmm. it contains. That's why red wine is also a trigger. It contains uh. tyramine and also, it dilates blood vessels in the brain, uh, which can actually compound the problem. I want to go back. Let's list a couple of these aged cheeses. So we're talking about like blue sure. cheese. Blue cheese. Uh, there's Parmesan. There's some aged cheddars. Anything that's not, you know, say American cheese that you can buy right over the counter mm -hmm. um, probably has some tyramine in it. The smelly cheeses. Exactly. If you will. The yummy ones. <laughs> and then this one seems so counterintuitive. Exercise. You would think exercise would help. It's true. Exercise can trigger a type of headache called an exertion headache. Now, we're not exactly sure why this is. Uh, it might have to do with uh, increased blood flow in the scalp, in the head, in the neck, and it's more common in people who exercise infrequently. Ah. So regular exercisers don't tend to experience that type of headache. Is it tied to how, how strenuous the exercise is? If you exercise harder, maybe it's a bigger trigger? Exactly. If you're not used to exercising and then you suddenly exercise very, very strenuously, that's a, that's a serious trigger. Okay, and then the last one makes perfect sense, sleep deprivation. <laughs> exactly. A recent study showed people who sleep less than six hours a night uh, experience far more frequent and more severe headaches than people who sleep more. So, you know, we sleep is really a limited resource these days, but we should try and do what we can uh, to get as much as we can. All right, Dr. Holly Phillips, thank sure. you so much. Good information.